Q-Tip fam, what's going on? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Q. Before we begin the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Make sure you follow me on all my social media sites at Quentin T. Harris. I'm not going to stand before you long today. We're going to get into the love and hip hop my. Emmy edition. First of all, my Emmy y'all have a phenomenal cast. Like, I feel like the cast all around is great. Like, you got some, you got some of the old people who we love. Y'all kept some old people, some of the old cast mates, some of the season ones. Then y'all bring in some new blood. We finna get into that in just a minute. Y'all bring it back. Uh, y'all got Jocelyn Hernandez coming back. Like, ah, uh, phenomenal job, Miami. Do y'all remember at one point in time when there was a rumor going around about Miami not coming back? Do y'all remember that? I remember that. So let's go ahead and jump into the Love & Hip Hop Miami review, episode one. I think this is season two for Love & Hip Hop Miami. Um, So the show opens up with the passing of Trina's mom um, and them at the funeral. Very sad story. Um, we all love Trina, and we knew if you listen to her music, if you listen to any of her interviews, Trina had a big love and a big respect for her mom. So that was actually quite sad to watch, which is Trina's mom. Um, rest in peace to her. Beautiful woman, beautiful spirit. And um, Trina, it was sad to see you in that light, but I'm kind of glad that they did show it on the show so that we can kind of follow your storyline and see if your like attitude is up and down or you know just to kind of see if like your emotions so it was kind of um it was very sad to see but we are glad that it was included into the show all right so we move on so open up the show officially open up the show is uh, first of all i know y'all gonna get on me in the comments probably about saying this girl's name wrong but amara La Negra. Okay, so I'm just going to say Amara. Amara. Is it Amara La Negra? I think I actually said it right. Amara. Amara. So we, Amara. There we go. Amara. So Amara comes on the scene. Amara looks great as she's walking and everything like that. I did not like Amara's green screen. I don't know. Maybe her face looked too dark or I don't like the, the suit with... I don't know. I just think I, I personally didn't like it. But Amada's a beautiful girl. I've seen her in person. She's a tall, beautiful girl. I like her more when they were just filming, you know, them around the house and all that good, good care and all. When she was opening, when she was in the kitchen scene with her mom and then her boyfriend. Y'all. <laughs> Amada's boyfriend. But So before I can spit this out, Shay is one of my good, good homegirls. If you follow my social media, Shay is my sister. That's my girl. But Shay, your brother is fine as hell. Oh my God, dog. Sheesh. That's all I'm going to do because I don't want to do too much. But God, dog. I'm out of that boy is fine. Shoot. Them the kind of words you I have to use because I'm on YouTube, but I just gotta. That man was fine when he came out that kitchen with this 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 towel on. His accent, he speaks Spanish. I like a little dom 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 all that Jamaican speaking Spanish, carrying on coming from a chocolate black man, just masculine man, just fine, just fine. Oh. Ooh, okay, I'm going to get up off that. Amada, you did that when you snagged him. You did that. And he speaks Spanish. Okay, so we got one castmate who knew how to snag somebody. So let's go to the next scene. So it breaks off and we go to Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy didn't know how to pick him. Now, I'm not, I'm not sure if this young lady is a big deal in... Miami, or I, I'm not sure. I'll have to go look. I haven't even looked up her platform or none of that. All I'm saying in this scene, on what we saw on tonight, Trick Daddy looks crazy. Trick Daddy looked like he's dating his granddaughter. That little girl looked like she's early, and, and she's like she's in her 20s. She's like she's my age. 
Trick Daddy is well over past 50. Now, I'm all for a little cougar kind of carrying on situation. I'm all for a young girl in an old head, but as long as it look cute. Because I like an old head. I don't like no young guy. I like an older guy. I don't do nothing younger than 35. All the guys I've talked to are pretty much being my daddy's age. I guess I'm kind of the same way. I didn't like it, y'all. Trick Daddy looked crazy with that little girl. And he was talking about something. Can we, you want to go upstairs and wrestle? Or you want to go upstairs and wrestle? I'm like, go upstairs and put that little baby to bed and don't bring her back out here with you no more, Trick. So I'm interested to see how that storyline plays out. But Trick, it just looked ill. Oh, and then she talking about something. I told you I was celibate. Trick, that little girl do not look celibate. She looks like she don't want to have sex with you. I'm sorry, Trick. She don't. She just don't look like she want to have sex with you. She don't give me, oh, she's celibate. She give me, I don't want to have sex with Trick Daddy. So I don't think she's celibate. I don't like Trick Daddy's lighting in his in his green screens, in his confessionals. He looks super dark. He looks dark as my shirt. I want y'all to lighten his, um, lighten his, um, lighten his light up when it's time for him to shoot green screen. Trick Daddy in his restaurant. To the next scene. So we move on to Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy, you got Bobby Lights, Shay, Amada, and they sitting around carrying on for a hot little second. So, you know, Bobby Lights. First of all, shout out to Bobby Lights. Bobby Lights, another good friend of mine. Uh, was just texting the other day. Bobby Lights look amazing. He comes onto the scene. He's vibrant. He's having a good time. He's in good spirits. And that's the Bobby that we like to see. We like to see Bobby having a good time. We like to see Bobby cutting up. We like to see Bobby just coming on the scene and being full of uh, love and light and just energy. Uh, shout out to Shay. Shay looks amazing. I'm going to get into Shay in just a second when we get down to the next event. But Shay been coming on the camera. She looked great. She looked great to me. Uh, and I'm not going to be biased because Shay is my friend. Shay, I'm not going to be biased if I feel so, I'm going to say it. But for the most part, you holding it down, sister. Uh, let's get into... Oh, so Bobby Lights tells Amada, he was like, girl, I don't feel like you over JoJo. Like, you still love JoJo. So Shay chimes in and Shay's like, yeah, she is. Da -da 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 <sighs> so we start cracking open this whole Shay and JoJo situation. Now... If you like me, Amada, I feel you, girl. I've been in I've been in the middle of a JoJo and a Shay situation. It's not a comfortable place, but I've been there. Um, Shay is a little upset that Amada invites JoJo to her event, and she doesn't feel that Amada, her sister, because. You know, they became so tight. They, they've they been like sisters. And if you follow their social media, they have been, like, really that tight. Um, Shay is not too fond of Amada trying to have any type of um, get back in good graces type feel. Shay, Shay doesn't feel like you're being loyal. She doesn't feel like, where's your loyalty to me? So she expresses that. If she finds out that Armada and JoJo are trying to see each other and trying to mend things, that she's going to be upset. I, do y'all feel like Shay has a right? Y'all let me know. Drop down in the comments and let me know if y'all feel like Shay has, an, Shay has um, a right to be upset. So we're going to keep on moving on to JoJo's event. Shout out to JoJo. Another friend of mine, JoJo, she had her event, her collaboration event. Um, I thought she looked great. I thought um, it was a successful event. Bobby Lights pops up um, on JoJo. And they just get the conversing back and forth. And, um, yeah, so do you guys think that, and I know it kind of plays itself out later on in the episode, but from from watching, from from knowing the, the turmoil and everything that they went through, do you guys feel like they would have been back cool? Do you feel like, because there was a part where Amada said, girl, you see me in Atlanta. You see me, da, 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 And I remember that. I remember that. I remember that because I interviewed jojo one day and that same exact day she told me she saw amada that day in atlanta so i don't know but shout out to jojo so like she had a great event we're gonna keep on moving trina in the studio with joy tricks old wife um you all know trina loves joy she confides in joy about a lot uh, they like really, really good homegirls. You can tell that they're cool off camera, which is always good because it's just good to see the chemistry between the characters. So I can feel the genuine love there. 
Trina, <clears throat> Trina brings up a situation talking about her her album had to get pulled from the internet. Um, about this whole situation behind Julie and her old manager steals. I think it was three hundred thousand dollars, which was Trina's advancement, and he used it for his own record label. So, of course, we see later on down in the line that Tr that that Julian comes to Amada's event. So. What we see and what we know so far is Amada and Trina were sharing the same manager. So now Trina and Julian have bad blood. So hopefully we see what plays out with this whole Julian situation. Because like I said, he does come to Amada's release party. So let's go ahead and move on to Amada's release party. Shay Mother and Johnson. You looking good. Shay looked so freaking good when she came to um, Amada's book signing. Oh, she looked so good. That white looked good. That fluffy out, that that fluff out little curl hair. You look good, Shay. Shay looked good. I know y'all y'all give Shay a lot, but Shay. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta remember. Shay is a pro at this reality TV shit. Like now, outside of that, that's who she genuinely is. And so, let me jump back to the situation between her and Amada. Me personally, knowing Shay, that is a genuine feel from her. She's very protective over her friends. She's very protective over her family. So I could, I personally could see Shay upset with Amada for being cool with somebody that she don't rock with. I can see that. So I'm glad to see that Shay brung that onto the camera because that's who she genuinely is. So let's get back to um, Amada's party, uh, uh, her music release party. So Shay looks amazing at the release. So, so I already said that one. Um, Shay and Bobby. I like this whole little Shay and Bobby little meetup that I keep seeing. Um, it's a good feel, me knowing Shay and knowing Bobby. I feel like they would have a good time together. Like, I feel like I could hang out with Shay and Bobby at the same time and kind of get my life. Like, I feel like they are a good time. They feel like they're going to, they feel like they, they look like they're going to be like little homies on the show and they're going to keep getting the teeth for each other. So that's just what I assume. But it, it feels good to kind of see Bobby and Shay together, just my opinion. Um, Shay don't want JoJo to pull up at this party at all, period. Bobby spills the tea to Shay. Did Bobby spill the tea to Shay? I can't even remember. I think so. I think Bobby spilled the tea to Shay. And told Shay, like, girl, JoJo is invited to this party. Shay gets an attitude with Amada. She starts, you know, having, having, a, having in a little tag. She's like, girl, I don't like that you've invited this girl into my energy. It's about you tonight. It's I don't want to have to address her. I, I Just none of that, point blank, period. So, like, again, and I'm not being biased, but me knowing Shay, I can honestly say that she would do that in real life. Like, I, I can say that. So, um, we see... So, let's jump into Shay and her brother in this whole Amada situation. So, Amada to me is, I mean, not, uh, not, not Amada, her brother. Her brother, um, Shay's brother tries to calm her down and like, listen, it's not about her. This is, a, this is Amada's night. We can do this on, on another night. Da, 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 da. And Shay's basically telling her brother, like, listen, don't get in it because you're my brother. And I don't want you and I to be on a... To, to have an all out against each other or to to be on the outs because of something that because of something that you're trying to step in. I understand I'm not as your girlfriend, but I'm your sister. So I'm asking you as my brother to just stay out of it. And I can respect Shay for that. Personally, I can respect her for that because it's like, listen, not this ain't just us this regular conversation at the house. We on TV. I honestly I, I understand what you're trying to do for your girl, but these are my feelings. Jojo was my homegirl at one point in time. Amada's my new sister who we supposed to be like this. You're my blood brother. Shay is in an awkward position. She don't want to show out because I know Shay loves I know Shay loves Amada. I know Shay loves um her brother. So she don't want to make a scene. But it's kind of like, well, don't put me in an awkward position for I so I so I don't have to make a scene. So I have to give Shay that one again. Um so yeah. But child, child, child. Um, 
So, JoJo pulls up to Amada's event, and Shay is out the damn door. It ain't no hey, it ain't, it ain't no, uh, it ain't no, it, don't, don't collect, don't collect no coins. It's, it's go. Shay was out. Like, Shay was out, and I understand where she was coming from. Like, listen, so I don't make a scene at my friend's event, event because I got so much love for you, I'ma just chuck the deuces. I hate she didn't stay long. I don't know how much, or uh, how long she was actually there, but... Um, she just looked so good. I wish she would have got more camera time, but she was out. She won't have it with Miss Jojo. So Julian walks up in the building. So this whole Julian situation between, uh, Joy and Bobby Lights and, uh, Trina, Julian comes in the building. Remember, Julian, um, stole $300,000, $300,000, stole $300,000 from Trina now he's at a Mata release party. Soon as Julian came in the door, um, it looked like the table started shaking. It was just start shaking the table. And so it's just kind of like, all right, so where do we go from here? What's getting ready to go on? Because we don't know what's getting ready to go on, but it looked like some we just look like some stuff get ready to pop off. So at that point, you got Shay who just left, JoJo who just came in, uh, Shay's gone. So then it goes to the next scene. Uh, oh, let's jump on JoJo's. Who is JoJo's boyfriend? Who is this little Big Daddy or Big James or whoever his name was? Uh, that was very awkward for me. Have, have y'all been seeing JoJo post anybody as a boo? Did it say boo? Did it say boyfriend or did it say her friend? Because little I, if I can remember correctly, I think it said boyfriend. It was like Big Daddy or Big James or somebody. I'm just a little confused because I don't remember her mentioning anybody and I haven't seen him. I don't know him. Do y'all know who he is? And I'm not being shady. I'm genuinely, I'm just asking the questions. So we get down to the meat and potatoes of Amada's night. So JoJo is still there while Shay's gone. Now Shay, you gotta tell, call your sister and say, sister, I saw what you did tonight. I rocks with you. Now let me t let's let's jump to Amada real quick. Amada, I respect you so much more. Uh, I already love her. I think she's a great talent. But seeing Amada check uh, JoJo in her face was kind of like, girl, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna allow you to give me this. Hey, and you know because I've had somebody recently do that to me where people know the cameras and stuff get ready to start coming back around. And all that reaching out, apologizing. No, you only apologizing. And I'm to look right in the cameras like, because this camera is here. I saw you in Atlanta. I saw you at another function. I saw you at another function. You could have been apologized to me. You could have apologized to me when there was no cameras, when there was no spotlights. And I love the fact that I'm to check her on site and was just like, girl, you're not going to play in my face. And I'm not going to allow you to disrespect me and disrespect my space and play me like I'm stupid. So what you can do, you can take you, little daddy, big James, whatever that little man is, and y'all can skedaddle that ass on out that way. I commend Amada 10,000% for that. I'm not having her back, JoJo, but what I am saying is I just like to see a person, check a person in her face and be like, girl, I saw what you, I thought about it. I went back and did my homework. Girl, it's going to be a no for me. And this is why it's going to be a no for me. I don't even have time to talk to you right now because I'm booked doing something. So I respect that so much. That it ended right there. Um... Love and Hip Hop Miami, amazing first episode. The cast looks great. Um, talent coming back looking amazing. Um, they they should have called episode one the Shay episode because it was a lot of Shay, Shay, Shay going on, and I love it. Um, I'm excited to see this Prima Donna and Jocelyn storyline come about. I want to see Trick in his storyline with this little girl. I really don't want to see it. I'm really not like the biggest Trick fan, but... I, I think I kind of want to see Nikki's personality and stuff because I think she, you know, is gonna kind of be going to be like a, you know, like a, a big deal. Um, so yeah, that's just that. Um, everybody else, we will see them hopefully episode two. It uh, looks like um, we have some more old cast members and stuff coming back. But outside of that, it's like it's gonna be a great season. Um, loving hip hop, Miami. I'm gonna do my Candy Birds clap. 
Great episode one. That's all I got for you. Great episode. It wasn't a whole bunch of flashbacking and catching up. Like, no, they came out with some tea. Like, you had Julian. You had Shay and JoJo. We've been waiting to see that since the reunion. Like, they came out with a lot of tea. Like, Love and Hip Hop Miami came out swinging. I'm excited about it. All right, guys. Check out my review for next week's episode, Miami. I'm going to try to rock with y'all the whole episode without skipping a week. I'm going to try to have it up the same night the show come out. I'm going to really, 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 really try y'all. But uh, make sure you guys are following my social media sites. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Peace. It's your boy Q.